Well, we can turn our attentions now to a horse who won the arc last year. He's back in his defence this time around, Toccato Tasso, who's likely to have the uh, services of Frankie Tatori. Yeah, and that's it, isn't it? The big thing with Toccato Tasso is that knowledge is power because Torquato Tasso has won the arc and he's ridden by someone who's won the arc six times. These are the dual winners of the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. There are only eight of them, all in successive years bar one. I think that the horse on there, who is perhaps the poster girl for Torquato Tasso, is it Trev? Because I was just thinking that Trev was the horse who didn't really look like an arc champion all the way through up until Longchamp Day. And that's the point with Torquay to Tasso. It's as much about the race as the horse, because think back to what the race did for him last year and what the race might do for him this year again. So here is Torquay to Tasso in last year's arc. There's Adia and Torquay to Tasso, 80 to one, was he? Mm. Underestimated. Underestimated. But we know from being there, the rain that came down the day before was like the sum out there. That's the thing. And that is the critical to his chances of defending his crown. He hasn't yet had the chance for the same set of circumstances for him to win. And take him out of the race, and it's almost like the arc result makes more sense because we've got Hurricane Lane, Tarnawa and Adiyar. If those had been the first three, we'd have been saying, <laughs> what an arc. But here's a quick question for you. What was the winning distance in last year's Arc de Triomphe for Torquay to Tasso? Uh, length and three quarters. No, no, no. In my mind, it was a head. He scrambled in. It was three quarters of a length. But when I lost this back, I was really taken by just the last 50 yards or so where he's really hitting his full head of steam at that point. And I thought that was impressive. Well, of course, he's not dodged races this year. They brought him across no. for the King George. Yeah, and the King George, this is perhaps the closest he's got to last year's winning performance. There's Pile Driver and there's Torquay to Tasso. Now, this race on fast ground Martin is just not really compatible with what he was able to shine on in the arc. This race took eight seconds less in the completion than last year's arc and every one of those seconds hurts him because he's doing his best work at the finish, but Pile Driver, because of that straightforward nature, is impossible to catch. So with Torquay to Tasso, I think this is the closest we've seen to the defending arc champ as he's had the chance to express himself this year. And he's also right-handed, as he will be at the weekend, which seems to be his preferred way of going. Yeah, just interesting, the various quotes around this. Frankie de Tori said that when we get back to Longchamp and soft ground, we mean business then. And interesting that Mark, Marcel Weiss, the trainer, has suggested quite strongly that going the right way around at Longchamp is something that really plugs into Torquay de Tasso's strength. So what's in his favour is that he's been there and done that. He's finally back under the conditions which saw him run so well last year. And he has been closer to last year's level than you might think. So... Quick question, would last year's repeat performance suffice this time around, do you think, or might it be a better race that he's up against? Yes, it would do. Yeah, I think so. That's my gut impression. The, the quality of the three who he beat that day, I don't think we've got quite the quality of those three this time around. So what's in his favour is that he's been trained specifically for this and the forecast for the week, some rain, not a lot of rain perhaps later in the week, but some rain, enough to give him a chance to see the Torquay Tasso of last year.